today we're going to be having a look at a small aspect of graph theory and specifically we're going to be looking at the definitions of whether graphs are Eulerian or semi-Eulerian. A key part of this little presentation is just to be able to look at a graph and to be able to make a decision about whether a graph is Eulerian or semi-Eulerian and these definitions are important in their own right but this bit of theory also has applications when we go on and study net network algorithms and very specifically the Chinese Postman algorithm. Now we actually have two definitions of whether a graph is um, Eulerian. The first one is that we're working with a connected graph that has a closed trail that contains every arc only once. So if we pick that apart, what do we mean by connected graph? Well, we mean that if we've got nodes in the network, we can get from one to the next to the next, like that. Um, See, so we had two little bits over there, and the two graphs weren't joined up. That wouldn't be connected. But in terms of the two pictures um, we're working with, these two graphs, they're most certainly connected graphs. So what do we mean by a closed trail? Well, that literally just means when we go arc to arc, one after the other. And a closed trail is where we begin and end at the same place. And the final part of the definition is that we use each arc only once. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at these graphs and decide whether they're all there or not. So in this case, I'm just going to start there. And can I do a trail? Well, yes, I can, because I just go arc to arc to arc, and I'm using each arc only once, and I've started and ended in the same place, so I've got a closed trail, so it's safe to say that graph's Eulerian. Now, I come over here, and I want to do the same thing. Is the graph Eulerian, yes or no? So I can do arc, followed by arc, followed by arc, followed by arc, then I run into a bit of problem, I get back there, and to get back to where I started, I have to go back over an arc I've just been down. But the definition says we use each arc only once. So that graph would not be Eulerian. Now, a second definition of whether a graph is Eulerian or not is, is if every node has an even order. So if we look at the left-hand one over here, and just go around the nodes. That's order two, order two, order four, order two, order two. So all those nodes are of even order. So as before, the graphs were layering. But if I come over here now, and I look at the order of these nodes, I've got one, three, two, two. So all those nodes are of not even. They're not of all of even order. So that graphs not Eulerian. Moving on slightly, a second definition we need to learn though is to be able to define whether a graph is what's called semi-Eulerian. Now the key thing about a semi-Eulerian graph is there's just two nodes of odd order. So if we come back over here again, um, that's order one, that's order three, that's order two, that's order two. So like we said, that graph's not Eulerian, but it is what's called semi-Eulerian because there's two nodes of odd order. So now we can look at these two graphs and we can try and make a decision whether they're Eulerian, semi-Eulerian or neither. So what I'm going to do is go around and look at the order of each node. Now, so I just count the number of arcs going in, so that's one, two, three, four. That's of order four that's of order 4, that's of order 4. So on this graph, because all the nodes are of even order, we can say this is an Eulerian graph. In terms of the one on the right hand side, um, a little bit more difficult, that's of order 2, and in the corner, that's of order 4, that's of order 3, that's of order 3, that's of order 4, and that's of order 4. So in this case, we've got just two nodes, if I just circle them, of odd order, 
and the rest are even, so this would be an example of a semi-Eulerian graph. Now it's time to have a go at an exam question. So here what, what I've done is I've taken um, D1, June 2000, question 1, parts 1 to 4, and if you have a look at it, there's a number of key parts here. Um, part 1 is an example, um, asks you to give an example of a cyclone graph A. Part 2 asks you to explain why U, Y, V, Z, Y, X isn't a path. Um, and part three asks you about spanning trees. So they're not things we've covered in this little clip, but we've done them in class, and you'll have all those definitions in your textbook. So you're going to want to look at your exercise books, your textbook, text check, check those definitions and answer the question. And then part four relates exactly to what we've done in um, this little lecture. It's about deciding whether the graph is Eulerian or semi-Eulerian. So what I suggest you do now is actually pause the video, keep the question on the screen, and in your exercise books, have a go at parts one to four. And then when you've done that, press play again on the video, and we'll go through it, and then you can self-assess yourself. So here we have the question again, and the examiner's mark scheme at the bottom. So part that, Part 1 was write down an example of a cycle on graph A. Now the, an example they've given in the mark scheme was just to go P to Q to S and back to P. Now why does that um, make it a cycle? Well the key aspect of this that makes it a cycle is that we start and end at the same place, uh, P. So that's fairly straightforward and that would be one mark. Now we need to explain why um, this here, u, y, v, z, y, x, so I'll just trace that out, so I go u to y to v to z to y to x, and we have to say why that isn't a path, well the key aspect that makes that not a path is the fact that we've been through node y twice. Um, when you do a path, you're not allowed to go back through a node that you've already been through. Um, part three is, how many arcs would there be for a spanning tree of graph A? When we do a spanning tree, um, it's about taking in um, every node, so um, with the minimum amount of arcs. So if I just draw a spanning tree, that's connected two nodes, three nodes, four nodes, five nodes, six nodes, and we've done that with um, five arcs, which again is fairly straightforward, um, one mark. And then the final question, which relates to what we've done in this clip today, um, what does it say? Well, for each graph, state whether it's Eulerian, semi-Eulerian, or neither. So I should just go round. So this one is order 2. That's order 3. That's order 3. That's order 3. That's order 2. And that one's order 5. So the definitions of Eulerian is all nodes of even order. Definition of semi-Eulerian is two nodes of odd order. So actually in terms of that one, I think we can say that's neither Eulerian or semi-Eulerian. And if we just have a look at the absolute final one, um, that one is of order two, three, three, two. What have we got there? That one's three. And that one there is four. I'm very sorry, I made a mistake up there and miscounted. That one is actually of order four. So now we've got a case where it's just two nodes of odd order. So we'd say that graph is semi or layering. And finally, I hope you find this presentation useful. Um, and as always, if there's any questions or any follow-up, 
um, don't hesitate to drop me an email. Thank you very much.